next is a kitchen segment that I have quite literally been excited about for weeks. Our team was scrolling through Instagram and we saw Casey had posted a photo of shrimp and grits. May or may not know, I happen to love shrimp and grits. So naturally we messaged her and we were like, Casey, can you, can you come make this on the show? And she said, duh. So <laughs> buckle up everybody. We are in for the recipe of a lifetime. Casey, <laughs> welcome back sister. Thank Casey you. is the occasional chef who we've had on to show off charcuterie boards. I had yes. no idea you were this kind of chef on top of that. Yes, I have some hidden secrets. <laughs> you're fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. You were in this culinary world for a while. I, mean, I when was. When I saw this photo, I was like, you're so gifted in so many ways. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. I love that. Okay, Thanks. so we're making shrimp and grits, yes. which I'll say I love, but I'm particular about them. Like there's a I certain way I think they need to be and I yes. saw your photo and I said that's it Casey so yes. how do we make these okay so my two secret ingredients is you got to add pimento cheese into <gasps> your grits Wait, it, get out. Yes. I didn't even know they came with pimento yes. cheese. I just saw the photo and they looked so thick and fluffy. <laughs> so wait, how yes. do you do so okay, so when do you do that? Instead of that, once your grits are cooked, you gotta keep an eye on them because you know they can burn and make sure they're seasoned. We're we're seasoning over here, people. What kind of grits do you use? I feel like that's key. I just use regular grits. Like I've got Wait, just straight up like just Quaker grits. old fashioned yeah, grits. It's not about the grits, it's about what you put in the grits. Okay, because I didn't know if some people are really into like the stone grits. Yeah, ground, some thick, people are fluffy. I'm you know, I'm easy. I've got I kids, love easy. So. That just makes it that much. I thought yeah. you were going to say, I get these special grits. No, market, no, we're very low key about our grits. I was like, okay, Quaker <laughs> no. grits, old fashioned. No, we're fabulous. good. So, okay. right before you're about to serve them up, you add in some cheese. You can either make your own pimento cheese. I like to make my own, but if I'm buying it from the store, I got to go with my girl Palmetto's. Palmetto cheese. With jalapenos. With jalapenos. I mean, if you don't like spicy, then don't add that. I hope you like a kick. No, we love a good spicy I like, kick. I like a little spice in mine. So also. So you cook the grits yep. first, then throw in the cheese yep. once they're all done and, and ready then, to go. Yep, okay. And then they're good to go. Make sure you salt them up. I like to use garlic salt in mine. Um, and then second key ingredient is Kaneka sausage. <gasps> so even if that you don't like shrimp, key. you can still make sausage grits. Mm -hmm. So that adds a lot of flavor. So I like to cook the sausage first and then you can take that out and leave the drippings in there and you've got that nice flavor in the bottom of the pan and then you're going to add in your veggies and then add the shrimp in last because that doesn't take very long to cook. You've got so. a fun little veggie medley over yes, there. What else chopped up? I've got some um, poblano peppers. I like to use those instead of using green peppers because they have a little bit of a kick and they add a lot more flavor. Um, we've got some colored bell peppers, onions, and then I like to add fresh corn for a little bit of sweetness <gasps> to that. So. I love it, especially yes. in summer. I feel like we need yes. a good fresh corn in our shrimp and grits. Yes. Let's see, this is fabulous. Thank also, you. presentation is key. Yes. Can we show off how <laughs> cute she has made this in her little martini glass? Yeah, so they're great for dinner parties. Um, you can add toppings like goat cheese, chives, pretty much yes. anything you want. So they're great for your summer parties and get-togethers. Wait, this is all so cute and perfect. Can I Thank try you. some? Uh, yeah, it's there I'm for you. To today. I don't know if we have time, but we're making time. <laughs> yeah. Tell another story because um, <laughs> I'm eating this. Hey, I appreciate it. Wait, the fact that there's pimento cheese is just the Pimento cheese exciting. literally makes it 10 times better. <laughs> is it good? Yes. Is that a TV face or is that a real face? No, this is real, <laughs> Casey. The pimento cheese is key. It's, it's good, right? Wait, I'm never making grits any other way. You, I, there you go. You heard it oh here first. Oh, my word. That is fantastic. <laughs> oh, we almost knocked it. Casey, you're fantastic. Of course, Thank you. you also still do charcuterie. Charcut I do. Still of well. course, absolutely. Tell us where we can learn more and book you. Um, so you can book me at the occasional underscore chef on Instagram. Um, you can find me on Facebook, the occasional chef HSV. Um, and I do have an upcoming class that I've partnered with Peachtree Interiors at Stove House. So we're doing a Mother's Day class on May 11th at so 6 p.m. So you can go to their social media, my social media, and find tickets for that. And bring your mom, bring your sister, whoever. Uh, we'll have a really good time. So. Wait, that's a cute, fun Mother's. What day yeah. did you say that is? It's Mother's Thursday, Day May 11th. Thursday, May yep. 11th. Okay, so get your tickets for that. Yes. And follow along with Casey at The Occasional <laughs> Chef on Instagram. We've got her tagged on our Instagram as well. Casey, girl, you're fantastic. Thank you. I'm going to take this to my desk. There you go. back on the studio, but I'm going to keep this <laughs> so nobody else in the station eats it. Fabulous as always, Casey. Thank you again so much. We'll thank you, Peyton. Soon. I appreciate Thanks. it. We'll be right back after the break.